5.02 p.m. on that kind of uh, sad news. And do we have any amendments to the agenda? We do not. And we have one guest. Good evening. Good evening, Sandra, Sandra Levine. Levine. Yes, we're glad to have you here with us, Sandra. Andy. And propitiously enough, the first order on the agenda okay. is Sandy Levine of the Middlesex Planning Commission to present the Commission's request that the Board appropriate $4,000 from its discretionary fund in FY19 to pay for consultants for the town plan action possible. Also, Sandy presents the Planning Commission's request that $2,000 be added to the Planning Commission FY20 budget to pay for consultants in the town plan action possible. Sandy, you're on. Thanks. We miss you. <laughs> We miss Steve Beale and the Planning Commission. Um, that said, the as as you know, the Planning Commission has a town, the no, town of Middlesex has a town plan that expired as of town meeting last year, and without a complete and up to date town plan, uh, we can't move forward with grants. Um, there are limited opportunities to can't change zoning, can't do a, a number of things. Um, I will say that the folks who own Red Hen, um, Planetary Matters, have been very interested in um, looking at a feasibility study and trying to figure out what they can and cannot do with their property. There's other reasons to have a, a town plan as well. Um, so the Planning Commission over the last three months or so looked into, well, can we just, you know, do a quick brush up and, you know, readopt the plan that we have? That's not possible. Since it's expired, it's out of date, you kind of have to start from scratch. There are new provisions that are required to be in the town plan that we don't have. Um, so, And no matter what, you still have to go through what is really a four-month process to adopt a plan anyway, um, just after it's all said and done. Um, we looked into possibilities to hire some outside consultants to help us get this. It's, it's a significant undertaking for any one person or a couple people on the volunteer commission to do. Um, and I will say I know that in previous times when we've hired consultants, they've, they've um, you know, worked kind of from soup to nuts, cost of anywhere from like nine to $10,000, and we usually got um, grant money to do that. Um, we did reach out to four consultants to see if they could uh, help us on an expedited, low, lower budget, faster timeline to get a town plan uh, drafted and put in place in time to apply for the next round of grants, which would be next fall, September time frame. That would give us about four months to redo the town plan and then four months to go through the process. In redoing the town plan, we would take what we have currently. Um, we would include the input we had from the surveys that were sent around, um, or that, that were available online. Uh, we would include the input from the What's Next, Next Middlesex, which was a very um, you know, robust uh, town involvement to, to uh, put that together, and, and there's a lot of input coming from that. Um, we, we reached out to four folks. We received um, responses from two. One came in a little over $4,000. One came in a little over $8,000. Um, seemed like the $4,000 one was, was on track. She could get the, the work done. She's a planner in, the, in, in um, South Burlington. I have her proposal with I, me. They, I put them all in there. Okay. Um, have the proposal with us. The Planning Commission decided she would be a good person to do this. We don't have the money to do this, so we're looking to the select board. I don't, um, is there a money in the budget now so that we can get this started? Our plan is to get this drafted and completed by June. And then um, the next piece is to have money in the budget for the following year, and that's what would be, because I guess the budget doesn't take effect until July. Um, so that's that's the, the second piece of this as well. Just in um, full disclosure, when I, I wasn't clear on the, the process here, so when the Planning Commission reviewed it, and the Planning Commission notes say we, we're, we're looking for $5,000 in the budget, and this is $4,000 plus $2,000. So 
Um, is that what we said for when we approved next our budget year, for believe. next year? It was five thousand. I don't know what's in the budget um, for next for next year for the planning commission. It was the same as it's same been as every year. We and what is that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to say two. Yeah, okay. I, I want to say it was five. only. I didn't think it was five. That's no. I think it's two. No. Okay. I think it's two. So if there's already two in there, then there's no, then there would be no so, change. So it would be four thousand to be released, to be paid before July, because if the work is going would be completed between now and May, for the most part. So where's the planning commission on here? <coughs> Do you remember what part is it in? Uh, it's their own. Thing. This on that, on the survey, the, I know that you've got, you know, we're going upwards of, I don't know, 250 to 300, somewhere up yes. in that. Now, we spent a lot of man hours uh, doing the survey, and we were going to mail one out. That's still going to happen. The Planning Commission decided last um, meeting right not now? to send it out. No. They will make it available here in Town Hall, both in terms of timing and wanting to get the... the, the um, the town plan done in with the roughly May time frame um, didn't really allow for sending it out and receiving it back and compiling it. Um, we would still make it available and recognize that there's about tw two, um, 250 or so responses online. There's Problem. So just thank you for coming and presenting this to us. Unfortunately, we just finalized our budget last meeting. And as far as I know, everyone either has been aware or should have been aware that we started working on our budget back in September. So hearing from you this evening, after we've just finalized our budget, unfortunately is a little annoying to me because we go through quite a process to do that. And now here we are two weeks later being asked to amend our budget and also spend money this year that we may or may not have. And it isn't like we all didn't know that this was coming. But that said, I understand volunteer committees. I understand. I really do understand all the issues. My question is, and my concern is, um, in the past, when I've reviewed the work done by these outside consultants, I've thought, to be honest, mostly what they provided was fluff, not stuff that we couldn't have figured out for ourselves. You know, boilerplate language, fine, meets the new rules and regulations, fine, and maybe we need help understanding what those are. But other than that, I just wonder exactly what you see us getting for this $6,000. Um. I see us getting a town plan that we can present to voters to vote on. I know that the Planning Commission has been working on the town plan update for the last, since I came on the Planning Commission, which was at, um, last spring sometime, um, and it hasn't happened. And I think they were working on it for some time before that as well. Because then, I mean, the other, so the second part of that is that if we can't do that mostly ourselves, what's going to happen when we turn around next and do an update of the zoning regulations, which to me are more complex, more confusing, more concerning than anything else. So, anyway. So right now there's 2,000 that's not used. Is that... Does that make sense to you that two thousand has not been spent yet that's from correct. the budget? From the discretionary. From, no, no. From, no. From, from their budget. In the, in the budget. Well, nothing has been spent they for have this 2, year. Yet. Out no. of the planning commission's budget, nothing no. has been spent. And you can't tell what's been spent in the discretionary fund because it's a budgeted number that's put in you just put in a dollar amount, but when you have the expense it gets expensed out to whatever the real expense is. Oh. Because you have to show it as right. whether you put in windows or whether you, right. whatever you did with it. So you, so the um, discretionary fund balance never changes. It's like 
you're adding five thousand dollars as so what does that get reconciled at the end of the year and then that all kind of, well you yeah because what it does is adds five thousand dollars people are over we're budget. over by moving around the right. place and right. that five thousand dollars makes exactly. up for it all right. that's exactly right but so you'd be looking for another two thousand essentially between now and July, yeah. July, and then you'd only be getting two thousand for next year yeah. because it's assuming that that didn't right. change. That didn't change. So you're looking for two thousand really, right? Is that yeah. does that make sense mathematically? I'm confused. Then, I thought it was four thousand and then two thousand. Well, you, we have two thousand already in their budget. I, I'm not sure how I know what's in the budget. I honestly don't know, and I don't. Oh, okay. and I, I honestly well, don't know how I would know even what's available for the planning commission. I, it's I a, just don't it's know. A, that it's a budgeted item that's in the financial. It's printed in the answer. The board. answer is Sandy. I called her in and asked her. That's the answer. There's, Unless you yeah. want to start getting regular <laughs> well, copies no, of, the I, town, I, yeah. of the town financials. But, right but it, so, 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 I mean, so the bottom line is, I come, I come to you based on the planning commission coming and saying, this is what we need. Yeah. But then, so what that begs the question then is that two thousand dollars was put in the budget for something, and I don't think it was put in for hiring consultants. It so only five hundred was what? consultants. It was five hundred for advertising, five hundred for mail, five hundred for printing, and five hundred for consultation. Okay. So it. So. Then nothing's been used. Is there any anticipation that any of that is? <laughs> Think you need any of that two thousand dollars that you've already got, or are you saying that? I I, I do that? not know what has been spent. Well, nothing's no, been spent. Nothing. 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 Okay. What are you saying? That do you saying. anticipate any other like expenses a besides this? I not a mailing. Probably some copies by the time we we have a draft of the town plan and have yeah. it available right. for right. public hearing and notices as required. But that's going to happen hearing. between now and July first, is it, or is it? Some of that will happen be between Before. now and July 1st, because we'll have a draft ready in, ideally in May. So you're so putting this, this you're, you're wanting this fast track so that it would be available if it passed, um, if it was passed by the town, you, you would like it on fast track so that you could apply for grants in the fall? Yes. That's what we're aiming for. And the grants in the fall would be for... Similar to what we had applied for this past year, a feasibility study to look at improvements in the village. That we were turned down for, we right? Were turned because down we didn't for have down enough to date time for So I'm sorry, can you can you tell me the time frame again? If you were to get this four thousand and then another two thousand is appropriated after July first on the next budget, um, you would hope to have an actual vote to the you would have a um, a town plan that would go to voters when? On a special election or something? Probably. Yes. Yeah. It would have to be a special election. But it would be somewhere be before the fall. Yes. On a town plan. Okay. And then the zoning regs, we can't do anything up with the zoning regs until we have no, the updated update 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 update. plan. Yeah. So the question is do we have $2,000? So the answer is. Yeah. yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think okay. I hate that we yeah. knows where it is, yeah. but it's yeah. A, yeah. it's in there. It's in right. there somewhere. So right. between between what the planning commission doesn't spend out of its existing two thousand. So let's say they spend five hundred on photocopying and whatever else. Yeah. Maybe there's fifteen hundred dollars there. So what we're really talking about is twenty five hundred dollars. Maybe yeah. And two thousand uh, dollars next year. Uh, my thing on that would be we just increased in our budget, which we finalized, the selectman's discretionary account. We can find that $2,000 yeah. somewhere. I am against, just on principle, amending the budget. I'm not that, that, not that we yeah. can't do it. Yeah. Right. No, we I worked so hard to get it approved yeah. and done in a timely manner to open it back up. And then I'm, it's not that I'm concerned so much about this, but then... What happens when somebody else comes along and they say, well, you open yeah. it up for the planning commission, why can't you blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think so we, I agree. So I, I just think it's a matter of principle. For that amount of yeah. money, we'll, yeah. we'll <clears throat> find it somewhere. And um, we might want to, the question is, do we jigger around the budget numbers, not changing the budget amount, 
but put an additional 2,000 in the Planning Commission for next year and have our discretionary account be 8,000. I guess that's what I would Can prefer. Can you do that? Sure. Without yeah, you only, lo you only warn a bottom line, you know. If there's yeah, no. no. So I just, took, because of the issue of tracking in the discretionary account, I want to be very careful how we right. handle that money. So by putting the money in the Planning Commission, then we're going to see I would say no, let's better. keep it the way it is, and if we have to take it from the discretionary, because we're probably not going to need a full 2000 anyway. I mean, they haven't used, I mean, this is for sort of just stuff that they haven't used anyway, and so well, then we can... Yeah, but they're no. going to use it on consultants. They're going to use it on consultants. No, I know, I know, but I'm saying for the next 2000 that yeah, you're going to use on the consultants. Well, the problem with that is that's when we're going to get into mailings, and right. I mean, they are going to have some expenses then. I don't know. Right. I'm happy to do whatever. It's it's not a big deal to me one way or the other. I just somehow, and we're not going to figure it out tonight, we've got to figure out a better way to track what's in that discretionary right. account because otherwise it's just like, yeah. Um, I guess if you you were going to do that, I'd rather do, um, I, I think I'd rather do 2500 more to the Planning Commission and 7500 in that fund. However, that being said, because I think if there are some good points to this, fast tracking this a little bit. However, the Planning Commission had worked pretty hard on getting some information together, and Sandy was a part of it, uh, to do a survey. And to not do that survey at all, I think, is a grievous error. That was there was a lot of man hours put in that, and I would like to see more emphasis. On, so I don't care how it's done, but I think it needs more emphasis needs to be put more on that survey because we were going trying to get 50 percent, and that way you really got the pulse of the town of what they want, not necessarily what that consultant is seeing. Now I realize the consultant is getting information from meetings from the select board, from the planning commission, and from the survey. But I think that we need to get all of the responses in that we possibly can in that time frame. Did we already? We did administer part of the survey, didn't but we? It was, done, it was done. It was done by SurveyMonkey. It was online. It went okay. pretty well. Um, but we didn't get. What did we get for a response rate? We got 250 responses. So that is out of nine. Well, you don't count kids. How many adults are there in Middlesex? Well, there are 1,400 on the checklist. 1,400 on the right. checklist. 1,400 on the checklist. Yeah. Okay. So, so that is that is sort of ironically a typical town meeting turnout. Yeah. That's about what the turnout is at so town that's meeting. So that's <laughs> right. like a 15%. Exactly. Percent it's like a that's what always but the more the more information you get from the more, yeah, more yeah, people yeah. you get on there the more you really feel the pulse of the town what mm -hmm. they want and not necessarily we're saying from a few that you know we want you know 40 gas stations in town and and mm -hmm. the town doesn't want it you know so is the survey set up that so that people can't take it again if, if it's it's sort of be put monkey. back online, I suppose, and, and put back in there. Well, I'm just wondering, like, I mean, my, my concern would be it's the same people answering the survey again, because I wouldn't remember that I had taken the survey. I mean, you my wouldn't. suggest, no, I mean, I think I took it, but, like, if I, I know that when I go and take some things, it'll say, thanks, you've already done this survey, but that's because it's linked to my email, and so... <coughs> I mean, what I'm proposing is that you could do something like a town meeting. If it's a pretty long survey, wasn't it? You could do it by paper, no. or you no, could do it. Long. Oh, then it's, you could do it by no. paper. But my concern is that people have already done it, and you don't want the same people answering. Hopefully, people aren't going to do that. I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't see that. I don't as see a, that. As, I mean, you might have. It's not that much fun, fun doing that survey. Right. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just saying, I wouldn't have remembered that I took the survey. Right. And yeah. so maybe I think we should, there are other maybe people we should like have you there. see the, uh, the memory care people. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have remembered that you took the survey? I remember I, that. I, I remember I took the survey. I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, maybe, that. Did, maybe I didn't. Maybe take you the didn't survey. do it. Like, maybe <laughs> I took the survey, and that's why I don't have yeah. it. Well, I, think, know, I, I think I the point of of maximizing the survey is a good point. But what we really need to talk about tonight is the is the money, and I, yeah. and I guess. I, I don't really care if we if we move that money around between discretionary or not. I just, the other reason for doing that is then we're going to remember 
what we did. Not that we might not remember, but you no, never that's a good idea. know. Yeah. So by having the money that's in there, easy. we'll say, yep, we took it out of the discretionary. We put it in the planning commission, and they've got their they've got their money uh, for next year. And in terms of this year's money, um, what would happen, Sandy, is um, hypothetically you would overspend your budget, but we have agreed that that is okay, and we will take it out of the highway budget like we always do. Thank you. No more winter sand. <laughs> 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 well, it's just so, it's tough because you know yeah, we really oh. we really account for every dollar. It's not yeah. like we have a lot of a lot of fluff, so it's right. so it's tough. Um, but we'll we'll deal with that. We've got we've got broad shoulders. So I don't think uh, with that we're not amending the budget. So I don't think we need a motion. We're not uh, doing anything now except uh, giving the planning commission the okay. I guess maybe we should, we, we need, need something in the minutes about that. So why don't we why okay. don't we make a motion? I'll make a motion that we're going to uh, allow the Planning Commission to have a deficit in their budget and move 2000 to their account to pay for the consultant, to pay 4000 for the consultant. So you're talking about the current budget? The yeah. current budget. The FY19. The FY19. Yeah. Okay. De they're allowed to have a deficit. And then... Of, of how much? A deficit of how much? 2000 Yeah. So you're saying they're not going to spend, have any other money to spend on anything? They're going to have zero dollars. We shouldn't or give should them $500 dollars okay, we'll for give them five hundred. Okay, we'll give them $500. That's why I was saying $2,500. Okay, we'll let you have 500 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. To pay for consultants? To pay for consultants. Okay, and then is, is there a second to that motion? Second. Phil, thank you. Any further discussion? Should the motion say something uh, what about... What about the next part of it, though? Should the motion no. say something no. about... No, because we're not, oh, we're not, we're changing not doing anything. anything. That's right. Okay. So the motion just says you're going to allow the planning commission to have a deficit of $2,500 in, f in fiscal year 19 to pay for consultants, period. Does nothing about the, the select board will cover it or nothing? Just going to leave it like that? Um, All right. No. That's I mean, of course we're going to cover yeah. it. What okay. else do we do? Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Who contracts with the consultant? How does that work for the town? I think in the past, I believe what we've done is authorize the planning commission to enter into a contract. Does that need a special authorization? I think it was. I think it was signed by the the treasurer or the chair of the select board. Yeah, head of the legislative body. Well, that may be. Yeah, that may be. Yeah. But yes. in terms of negotiating the contract. But, Yes. Yeah. And then so then right. that that sounds right to me. So you okay. so you guys would negotiate the, the contract, contract come to us and say, here's what we've here's what we've done, here's what it is. And then Peter, yeah. you should sign it. I'll yeah. sign it. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay? Good. You're good? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and now the exciting part of the evening meeting. The select board report for town meeting. Oh, uh, before before Sandy goes, well, do, do you not have to address the second the second part? Yeah, you don't have to address. No, because no, we're not okay. changing right, the budget. Well, no. Okay. Can I get a clarification on that? So yep. are you just moving twenty five hundred under the consultation, or are you? I mean, when you say you're moving it, so that for the next year they have two thousand dollars in there. So. What do you want from budget number and where? And where? I Is there still be mailing? There'll still be uh, printing? There'll still be. Their budget number for next year is staying the same. Not no. according to what you just no. decided? No, 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 no. no. That was this year. That was this year. Next year, next year, what we're saying is. We understand that they're going to spend another $2,000, and presumably it's coming out of our discretionary account. And then we can decide which we didn't decide whether to move that money in the final budget, not changing the, the bottom line, but putting $2,000 into the planning commission and taking it out of discretionary just so we could track it, which I guess is what I would prefer That's to do. That's what we decided to do yeah. without a motion. Okay. So I just don't a think flat, we need a motion to do so that. So just a flat yeah. 2000 then. Yes, because yeah. this year we'll have to move 2500 which is what the motion was. Well, right. it wasn't really that motion, but that's what's going right. to happen. Yeah. yeah. 
So I'm moving with it. Yeah. So that would give you just put it all in the consulting line. So that would give what twenty five hundred in consulting. In the no. Yeah. Twenty five hundred. Stay at five hundred yeah. each. So you're good, Dorinda. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, um, Sandy. Thanks. Thank you. Bye, Sandy. Select board report. Oh, let's. Uh, I do not have a copy of the select board report. Put one in your packet. Um, I'm looking here. No, I don't have one. Oh, oh, oh yes, wait a minute. Do. Select board report. I got it. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. This looks like the same thing you sent to us, Sarah. I think it is. It is. <laughs> was I supposed to do something different? No. <laughs> no. Does that come into play yet? Does anybody know? What? Our emergency towing policy? Has not, to my knowledge, or information. No. Today might be the day. I've never seen so many cars. I pulled six out of the ditch. Really? Over the weekend. Yeah. Reminded me of old Glad times I with you, Liz. Glad I wasn't there. Glad I wasn't there. Jesus. You should have seen 89 yesterday. I still, I can't, I'm still baffled by it. Paul put somebody out right in front of my house. And it was funny. I, I thought they were checking their email or something. And then I looked. I said, that car's on the other side of the road. How she got on the wrong side of the road and got off into the ditch? <laughs> I don't know. But. Well, I, I had a good one because I had uh, our, our neighbor's driveway by the pond there. Yeah. Somebody was stuck coming out of there. They had a pickup truck attached to that, and he was stuck. So I've got a cable stretched straight across the road. I've got people up and down the road. I've got somebody up there like this. He's going like this. Car goes right around him and heads right for my cable, which was stretched right across oh. the road. Perfect. Unfortunately, <laughs> they got stopped, but it wouldn't have been pretty if they no. did. It's a great business card, isn't it? Yeah. I love that business card. <laughs> okay, so um, are you are you also doing a dedication? We're not we did we haven't done a dedication for the past two town reports. So we're not doing them. No. So do we want to say anything about this year's budget in our report? Do. Normally and, we do. And that's what I normally, I put in my meeting to refer to the select board <laughs> report. <laughs> well, last year Phil wrote it, that was great. Yeah, I, mean, I, I remember that. that. Yeah, actually I forget the last couple of years. Um, um, I, th I think we should. And, and you know, the high points are, I don't know if, if any of you have been following the hoodoo in Moortown about <clears throat> Highway crew compensation. I have. No. They were virtually they... ready to go on strike. Yeah. Came in my office. Really? For, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there's been a lot of. It's mostly been in the Waterbury record or whatever it is. Oh. It hasn't. I haven't seen anything in the Times Argus, but there's quite a war going on. In were the, they asking how much we paid our crew or something? Mm -hmm. and then, oh, yeah. Um, more, they had included in their budget a 2% increase. Oh, more town. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Um, and uh, from memory, they had done a survey which indicated they were way on the lower end of the comparable 
pay scale, you know, similar to what we were trying to figure out before our two pay raises. Um, and as far as I know, it hasn't been resolved. I mean, there's a lot of yelling and shouting going on, people threatening to quit, all the, all the stuff that we were happy to uh, avoid, at least for the time being. When we did our adjustment, was it last year, the pay adjustment, not at the increase, but we actually looked at the yeah. market. Did we actually do a market analysis, or was it yes. more yeah. Yeah. a real, like... We looked at what... The surrounding towns were okay. So right. we did it, it. We did it on our own, but we looked around. Yeah, and also right. I think we also looked at what private companies were. There was at the time a couple of companies on. Okay. Some, on we hadn't operation. hired a consultant to do that for us. No, 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 we no, just no. said it ourselves. Okay. I think the league had information. Right. It's out of yes. date now. Yeah. It's like three okay. years out of date. Yeah, I mean the big challenge, the big challenge isn't what the towns are paying. The big challenge is that in the construction season, these guys can earn a lot more money working for a contractor now it's not a year-round job doesn't have benefits doesn't have retirement and probably doesn't, doesn't have, have yeah 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 but no. but the fact of the matter is you know the, there's always been this thing this yeah. cultural thing where you know you, you make your money working for a contractor in the summer and then you disappear into the woods to hunt trap cut firewood whatever in the winter mm -hmm. nice. and on balance you come out better well that's, I tried to make the case to our crew, the road crew, that that wasn't the case. It wasn't, my message wasn't very well received, it wasn't Steve. They said, but we get paid less. You know, that's what they understand, what's in their paycheck at the yep. end of the week. So anyway, <laughs> I, if, if, you would, if you would do that, that budget piece, that would be great. And Are we you going to do that budget that. piece, Phil? I'll do it. Thank you. Yeah. And I want to acknowledge... See how easy that was? Mm -hmm. That's why you're the chair. <laughs> Sarah, I want to acknowledge that I have done nothing about the food shelf, and is it too late? Um, I well, keep Phil, asking and I keep not doing it. Is it. Can you get it done by Thursday? Yeah. Thank you. That's not true. Okay. I'll just look at last year's and do a copy of the budget. Yeah. Um, okay. If you email it to me, Dorinda, I can print it out. Or just yeah, email it to me. It to me. I don't have it. I've got to go back and find for the year ending, right? Or those up oh, tonight. The, 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 oh, the one tonight? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can do that. Yeah. I'll print yeah. that right now. Okay. Either way, print it or email or it to me. I don't care. Which do Whichever. You? I mean, because I just want to be able to go through and look at the, you know, the high points. That's basically all I did last year was look at where the significant changes were. Yeah. And I think we probably have less drastic changes than we did last year. Well, we had the computer issue. Okay. That's where we go. That's the big That's the big and, change. Well, that was for the expenses for last year. So, okay. yeah. I'll do something yeah, that it, it represents we were way overspent in the... Well, all I was saying is we're way, we were way overspent right. last year, but this year we'll be back more yeah. in line where right. we've been before. Yeah. You know, something and like I that. put that in my notes as far as we were um, we were over by uh, where did I put it? We were forty eight thousand seven hundred and sixty six over budget for last year. And I just put down an unexpected replacement of the town's computer server system and an unanticipated highway department and unanticipated highway department expenses okay. accounted yeah. for the majority of the overrun. Okay. And then basically the biggest number fell under the construction category. So if anybody wants to know what that was, I really don't know what was in how that got voted out. But, but that was how I explained the overrun. So is there anything else? This is great, by the way. Thank you. It's very well written. Sarah, story. Yeah. We yeah. enjoyed um, reading it. Is there anything else we need to add to this? And I guess what I would, my preference would be when you do the report, have the piece about the budget first. Okay. Not have the, okay, throwing up the, the they're going to start the reading about throwing up the roads and the, <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, but I, I, oh, no, I, I, I you I, edit it however you want. I'll, I'll well, I'm thinking that since it's the, you're, this is supposed to be the 2018 select board report about the year that yeah. that's ended, we probably should just put before that just do a 2019 budget explanation from Phil for the select. That's board fine, board. but I mean, the, the, you know, well, you the action happened. Are? The action happened in 2018, so we're reporting our budget development, which happened in 2018. 
I'll give you that fishy look. Yeah, you, That's oh, the way you, my wife looks at me. I know that look. Approved it in January. You do. You tell me what to do. I will just put it there. This the two thousand. I'll just have the upcoming budget, I'm and then fine. we'll go into the exciting I'm, I'm road fine. throwing up part. That's fine. Let's just keep it a little. Can separate, I just say one too thing separate. too? Yeah. I don't know why I fixate on this, but I do. For some reason, I still con I'm concerned about the fact that in the next year's budget, we have. Um, like two fewer truck payments, and that sort of skewed things a bit. Like we're and for a couple of years, we won't have those truck payments that we've always had. We so made up. We made up for that. I know we did, and I. I don't. Do we just not remember that? You will have it next year. There'll be. Yeah, we'll have it next year. It'll be back. You will. Okay. Oh, yeah, yes. we've got payments. It was okay, only a one year. year. Okay, it was just it's a one year. One year. Yeah. You know what? I don't know. You I know what? Just you know what? It might be, be good surprised. to mention though, because. Really, our biggest challenge is going to be replacing that grader and right. warning people that that's coming. Yeah. I think makes some uh, okay. makes some sense. The trucks sort of come and go, and yeah. right. it all balances oh, it out big? in the end. Let me let me. I'll I'll draft something and get it around to everybody so that that'd be that great. If, Phil. Yeah, I mean, Thank if, I, if I forgot something, then yeah. Um, Thanks for doing that, Phil. You can get that done by Thursday, you think? Right. Yeah, do we want to talk about, do we want to talk about our... building business? Mm -hmm. But we're happy that we, we put an additional amount of money in the building fund in anticipation of... Sure. Uh, Just a little blurb. Yeah. 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 I think issue. last year I did it just in bullets, and that seemed to work fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 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 It's the information. Right, yeah. So we're good? Yeah, but we didn't have a question on the budget last year. I mean, we almost more. never do. No. 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 It's amazing. Don't jinx us. Oh, yeah, don't jinx us. <laughs> don't jinx us. Did I so, well, we, don't a, we don't need a motion on that, right? We just give you a, we just give you a nod. Yeah. Yeah. So Patty's on vacation, wow. and you guys did most of the checks ahead of time. This you need a motion for this. Okay. Warning. Proving the warning. Okay, let's look at it. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Refresh my memory on who, how many, are, are, is there, are there vacant planning commission? Yeah. There's, everything is vacant except for one seat. Really? Because Troy and Barry are not running again, but even if they were, they'd still be up for re-election. And then we've, uh, Theo just turned in his petition for one year of a three-year term. That's your old term. So there's and five people and Sandy's the only one left? No, Mitch. So it's oh, Mitch. Mitch. And then the, right now, Barry and, and Troy have announced they're not going to run. So those are so. If you know anybody who'd like to run that for that, that's Dick is running for one of those three-year positions. Okay. Um, and then there's uh, Sandy is running for the rest of her term, which is two years of a three-year okay, term. Yeah. And Steve is running. And now, um, sorry, and Theo is running for the rest of the term that he was appointed to, which was one year of a three-year term. So there's really only um, ne possibly one. One. So there'll be three names on a ballot with four. Be, uh, plan, we'll have to divide it to, on the ballot, there'll be one, elect one, no more oh, than no one for one then. for a three-year term, then elect no more than one for two for a three-year, then elect no more than two for a three-year term. That's so I have to do it on the ballot. Okay, and there's no oh. one on it right now who's not, who's staying on it and not having to run again. Like they're not having to put their name on the ballot because they're in the middle of their term. Mitch. Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Right. right, Mitch. Yeah. Okay. So there's technically, if there's five on the commission, mm -hmm. one opening, sort of. Right? Yep. You said Theo and Theo's Sandy running, are running. So, right. And Barry and Troy are up for re-election, but neither is running. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what were their terms? Three-year terms, just right. regular straight-up. Okay. And Dick term. is running for one of them, correct? So Did he put his name on the ballot? Four positions. We have three, three people. Three people running for four positions. Four positions. Correct. Right. correct. Right. So Sorry, I get presumably. So we're gonna have to end it. up appointing. We will have to appoint one person yeah. if they get voted in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. It's not as dire as I thought. I was thinking we were appointing. Like, 
Eliminating the trustee of public funds. Yes. That's just a simple majority vote one it time. It is. I, I checked with the Secretary of State's okay. office and there's nothing. We don't need paper ballots or anything else like that. Okay. Do you want to explain that at town meeting what happened? Sure. Okay. Yeah, although you didn't lace trap. Yeah. <laughs> but but under Article 3, it's still in here. You have to. I mean, it's still, yeah, it's still, a, it's, it's, it's still a position. It hasn't we're been eliminating it, yet. it in the future. Yeah. We right. can't eliminate it. I did. I did. Oh, I, yeah, did a, I think I did amend what I sent yeah. you guys. Because I sent it to say. They voted on it. Right. I, right. I added this effective March third, twenty twenty. Yeah. That's from the draft I yeah. sent you. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Just email to that budget. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's easier. FYI, spreadsheet. Then I can. Play with City it. of Montpelier in their in their infinite wisdom, which are at least five times our size, at least, um, gave uh, CBHHH a thirteen thousand dollar haircut. A haircut? Wow. Chop. Thirteen thousand. So what did they do? Central Listen Vermont Home Health and Hospice. The committee, their committee, smart though they are, and and I don't know how it was presented by CBHHH in their report, but they had a one-time bequest from an estate, oh. which is going into their endowment. You know, it isn't part of their operating budget, Yeah. but apparently the financial report showed it as part of the operating budget, so it shows yeah. they have a huge surplus. So their little, their little committee said, well, if they have such a big surplus, we're gonna give them a haircut. And they did. Ooh. And they waited they waited until three days before the petitions were due to do it. So they knew it would be impossible for them to get 600 signatures in a no, short aren't period they generous? of time. Not very nice. Hopefully we don't do things like that no. in our lovely little town. Can we go um, back to the Article 5, though? That's the four installments. Four. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're, we feel confident about those dates after the conversation we had last meeting in terms of like the, the double check with Dorinda. Okay. So to be Do we think we should say something in the town report about that? Because this is a new well, thing. I could address it in my report. But, okay. Um, I, put it. I mean, we can we can talk about it. You know, there may be there may be people who stand up and say, you know, I want to amend the article to go back to the two times a year the way we're doing it yeah, now. Yeah, and we'll, yeah. we'll vote on that. But okay. uh, We'll see what happens. <clears throat> I wrote on the ballot this year, town voters are being asked for authorization of property taxes to be paid in four installments rather than two. With the taxpayers in mind, the purpose of the change will provide smaller amounts due over a longer period of time. Currently, all taxes must be paid in full by 20, February 20th, after which a late penalty is assessed. Under the proposed article, Article 5, taxpayers will have until May 20th to have their taxes paid in full. And then I put note that, you know, the interest rates still apply and things like that. But that yeah. Is, yeah. yeah, I think people will be yeah. happy. Will like okay, thank you. So we lost a few off our small money list, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Although uh, today the Green Mountain Transit called me and asked if they could up their request to about 750 bucks. And I said, no, we can't do that. And they said, well, how about, what if we write the select board a letter in June? I said, that's not going to, you know, people change, things can happen. It's not, you know, for, for next are, March. They're apparently <laughs> just discovered that they are in deep financial. Is that what caused it? Because yeah. I hadn't heard anything. They're talking about rate increases, service reductions. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, that makes sense. Apparently their ridership is way down, which huh. is surprising to me. But yeah. apparently it is. Hmm. Special articles are down $2,000. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, we well, in that case, I think your request for petitions has has been a damper because I know that some of these used to be on the major separate articles and they're no longer, like the Central Mont uh, Basic Adult Basic Ed that used to be a, in a separate article. You know, there were some. They now just said it's easier just to ask for two fifty. <coughs> so I've been thinking of holding myself out as an independent consultant to get oh. petitions signed. 
The Nature Center it, didn't ask. The Nature Center did they not didn't ask, ask last year either. They didn't ask no. last. Well, last they sometimes they make an attempt, but this year they that's a good one. Yeah, that's a big one that's fallen off. They it's usually like ask usually for three thousand. Yeah, something. three to five thousand. Yeah. yeah. I do not like this resolution. It was crazy here Thursday evening, everybody getting it in by 5 o'clock. But they did. It'll be interesting to see if that passes. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> For a motion to approve the warning. i move. Second? Second. Bill? You need more time, Liz, for you to... Capstone didn't put their petition in? No. That's no. really strange. I actually called, I actually contacted. I, I did I did a two-part system. I sent out uh, I sent out a mass Very email at the beginning of December reminding people, and then I contacted those people on Thursday who hadn't sent in anything hmm. and said, do you still want to do something? So they said no. Yeah, I know we're looking at sort of I think looking for bigger increases, like changing the whole model. <laughs> I'm surprised that they didn't buy that. They, they didn't ask, though. Mm -hmm. I'll ask about that. You'd think they'd want to say, and we got I mean, really support it's just from a, this many towns. Yeah, it's, it's just a political a thing. political yeah. thing, but yeah. Are you ready to vote? Yes. Did we, did we make We moved and seconded. We're oh, waiting for your head nod. Aye. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? We have approved our There you our go, Peter. Warning. Can you start the signing process? Yep. It's like big paper. Holy yes. cow. <laughs> it's Over the warning. Overspending. <laughs> Does it have to be on that big paper? Is that a... Well, you know, you want it to just want uh, posting it around. Sweet. You want it to be make sure that everybody can see. All right. Treasure sport, Dorinda. Welcome to report. Do we know that this guys number is correct? Right? December's financial. You said it was the budget number. Yeah. <laughs> Dorinda, yeah. you said the budget number was correct, right? The budget number is correct. Okay. I've got to re-add the articles up again, but I think they're right. I added them. Oh, I need that pen again, Bill. Is there anything which <laughs> Look at it's scares us the in this? Pen. Not quite. Yeah, oh, a little bit. <laughs> well, I'd be interested to know what those items are. Yes, I mean, unfortunately. Here you go. Is that for you, sir? It's, the, it's oh, me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, again. What are we looking at? So we what? Spent, we, where we spent our money? We spent 64% of our money in half the year. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're always treated with the same respect. <laughs> That's okay. And, and we're buying more winter sand, which will oh, make no, that a little I know, huh? I was shocked how little winter sand we have. How I much might... did, that, did we measure in for snow, Steve, yesterday on that big storm? How many inches? I, I didn't measure. Like the kind of guy who yeah. measure. Did anyone measure? I, I, my neighbor said, my neighbor my said 22 I inches. Yeah, I had 19 to 20. I, I, I didn't. I only had 14. Really? Yeah, like if you did it on my car. Yeah, it might have 14. blown off. Yeah. Though. If your it car would probably yeah. getting also what happened yeah. on mine, it got so high that it started to fall yeah. off. Right. So there, were, there were piles up I against the door. I kind of where the wind doesn't hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we do have snow banks, though. Oh yeah, yeah. we do. It was a snowy snow storm. <laughs> it's for history. I don't mind the snow. It's cold. <laughs> right. Like. Okay. We started. So. What, what was what was something when all of a sudden this and it was exactly the way Roger Hill forecasted it. The snow stopped. 20 minutes later, this howling wind comes up the valley. And you just and pulled the blankets right over your head, didn't you? <laughs> I don't think I deserve that. The texts were coming in. There were emergencies everywhere. And he pulled the blanket. Cozy, cozy. You know, I, I, was, I, I was downtown in my truck. I know, pulling people out. I know you were. That right. I didn't back over somebody I when I was. Were. Thrashing around in downtown Montpelier. 
anyway. Um, so I do have one quick thing for you, and that is that the Welch Park gas account is going to be switched over to Borns. Okay. So you'll at some point you'll notice that you'll get a bill for Borns for them. We had a uh, we had a heating failure in the pump house, um, but fortunately they found it, put some electric heaters in there, and then they got the gas heater repaired. But that was another close call. At uh, I know it's never good news when I start start hearing from our fearless leader from Florida. He says, "I'm out, mm -hmm. I'm out in the flats fishing for redfish. What's the temperature up there?" Yeah. I said, "I'm not talking to you anymore." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so just just to okay. just to be aware. Okay, then January eighth, select board minutes. Action likely. Their motion? I'll make that motion. Second. I've got the first and second team going over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so we just got to do it. <laughs> any, uh, you just any don't give me a chance. Okay. That's any nice. discussion? <laughs> it's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the January 8th meeting. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Rescheduling February select board meetings due to February 19th special WCUUSD meeting. Um, you're not on the agenda. You can uh, attend. Yeah, what, I'm, a, where I'm are here we? as a public. I'm sorry. Here, could you pass that to Peter? Rescheduling February select board meeting due to February 19th special. Yes. Okay. So is that meeting, is that meeting on the 19th uh, still on? I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> I thought he said it was in like an email. Yeah. I mean, because everything or the is, paper, everything is just—it's so up in the air. It's so up in the air. So what time? What time is that meeting? Six p.m. on the nineteenth of February, Tuesday. Where? The U thirty-two. U thirty-two. Yeah. So I guess the only question I would have or what's my schedule before I sign the twenty-sixth is the school vacation, and after that is a town meeting. So once again, we have one of those tricky Tuesday issues. This Let's is do all, it earlier. This is all Phil's fault. I can't do it on the 19th at all. I have to go oh. participate and set up and everything else like that. Mm. And we also have to have a BCA meeting in February in preparation of that meeting and town meeting. Oh. What about, um, I can't do Monday the 20th. I can't, Monday the 20th? I mean, Wednesday the 20th. No, we have to have that so BC, wait a BCA wait a select minute, board wait a meeting wait a before that meeting. Oh. It's the second and the fourth, right? Sort of no. be the twelfth and no. the twenty-sixth. It's the first and the third. Remember. First and the third. Oh, that's right, Jesus. God, I never remember that. That's bad. So right now we have it scheduled for the fifth and the nineteenth. Fifth 19th. and nineteenth, yeah. Right. So you could maybe schedule it for the twelfth and nineteenth. You could just get away, maybe. Well, could we just do one? Can we just do, do one, one meeting? Just do one meeting in February because we're going to okay. be meeting down. <laughs> the one on the fifth. Yeah. Just do it on the fifth. Okay. And we'll have a BCA meeting on the 5th. Then we're going to have a long gap until then we have town meeting. Yeah, well, just four weeks. Well, you could. No, thought, Liz is yeah. right. No, Peter's right because then town meeting would have been and then the 5th. We'll so, yeah, we got a problem. Well, how about the 26th? She can't we, can do a, we can do a meeting on the 5th and then. Um, oh, I just. Um, well, so we, we can do, do a meeting with the BCA and the select board on the 5th. Right. Yeah. And then do and have a, a rapid fire, very efficient select board meeting on the 26th. Right, just to sign orders and say goodbye. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Okay, okay so yeah. we're just going to change the 19th yeah. to the 26th. Yeah. Okay. So coming up to town meeting, it's not probably not going to be a lot on that agenda anyway. There's not going to be a lot on that right. agenda. There usually isn't. A lot of times the select board has historically uh, just had uh, one meeting in February. Okay. I just hate to go that long without I I a meeting. Yeah. But especially since now that we've switched our schedule, we were. That's the other thing we probably should talk about since we can't. Yeah, what are we going to do in March? What do we do in March? So we have to have a meeting on the twelfth. We have to have an organizational meeting on the twelfth or that week sometime. So what I would recommend is in March. Geez, seems to me I'm going to Colorado somewhere in there, but it isn't on here yet. I would recommend. Phil, if it could work for you, that we go back to the second and the fourth in March and just meet at four thirty. 
on the day where you have your sure. conflicting Why would, what was Oh, we want to have two meetings? In March. We would anyway. Yeah, the 12th and the 26th? Yeah, because we can't do the first because it's a town right. meeting. Right. So you want to have two meetings in March, not counting, and I plus so. town meetings. Because that's, that's our meeting. organizational meeting. Yeah. We yeah. need to get that out of the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. and so the 12th, we'll just do that at 4.30. The rest of the other meeting will be at the regular time. 5 o'clock, right. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, Why are we making the 12th at 4.30? Because it's still meeting. His, yeah, yeah. his oh meeting. And now is it going to be that way forever? No, it's no. just going to be this for that one day because we have to meet. Phil meets at the okay. second Tuesday in March at, with the CBI. So well, we were going to go both the, the second and the fourth Tuesday. Isn't that what you said, Peter? That's what I was suggesting in March. Yeah, right. do but the we're second and the fourth. But have the second the, be at 4.30, the second Tuesday. The, second, the 12th will be at 4.30, and then the 26th will be at 5. So let's... Let's go through Okay, again. so the nineteenth is gonna to move to the twenty sixth. <laughs> right, at four thirty. All right, wait no. a minute. Wait. <laughs> Hold don't the listen to me. No. No, we aren't listening. Nineteenth <laughs> will move to the twenty sixth at five, but we're gonna keep it short. Yeah. And then we're gonna meet on the twelfth and twenty sixth. The twelfth at four thirty. Right, twelfth at four thirty. And the twenty sixth at three twenty six at five. And what are we doing in February again? We're your meeting. One more time. You're meeting at the fifth. You're meeting February fifth at five o'clock, yes. and there's going to be a BCA meeting. Mm -hmm. That's that's normal. That's yep. normal stuff. Right. But we're going to skip over the nineteenth because there's scheduled school meeting, and we're going to meet on the twenty sixth. We're an abbreviated, just sign orders and right. do whatever has to be done type of thing. Now, if it turns out, if it turns out that school meeting isn't going to happen, which I would tell you there's still some chance that that's the case. Do we want to go back to the 19th if we have a little that's time? you guys. Then I'd have to change my calendar again. <laughs> that's okay. You won't remember you did it. Yeah. <laughs> you won't remember if you changed your calendar or not. Listen, I, listen, I have a very busy work schedule, and it's hard for me to, like, okay. keep track of these things. We understand. You're the youngster here. You should be the sharpest. I'm not. I'm not, all right? Okay. So you're asking... Well, I think that'll work. Okay. I think that'll work. Yeah, we'll yeah. Work. Then we'll go back. <laughs> then we'll go back. <laughs> so well, can, someone's going to have to tell me. You're just going to have to email me and tell me. I'm okay. sure by the 5th we'll know whether or not it's going to happen or not. Okay. Correspondence? None. None. No, no. Yeah, not, not, not. Orders. Orders are signed. Any other business? What's Mike doing here? I was here to support Sandy. Oh, it's all done. <laughs> kind of missed I, yeah, I mistakenly thought the meeting started. At She's six. all set. We took care of her. Okay. So you accomplished your mission, even though yeah. you were yeah. here. But I, I didn't, I, I, I'm going to pretend that I'm interested and hang it out yeah. if you don't mind. Didn't so um, I will give you an update. We finally met after many months at the emergency management meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so we had that last week or something. Um, and. Uh, it looks like we're going to hopefully finalize by February that this be, be before this whole changes with the district that the school will become a shelter of just Perfect. use, not anything related to Red Cross thing, or I anything said, like I that. I said, you know, I, I think the idea of getting our existing board to approve this before all yeah. these changes happen is a good thing because That's God only knows hope. what's going to happen. Right. So the hope is that, so Chris McVeigh was there and he's going to take it to the next board meeting. Hopefully there's a few little things to hash out, but that should be passed. Yeah. Um, and then, um, and then we're just working on, you know, just some of the, um, just information about like, you know, actual specific types of disasters. There's templates that the state has of how to handle specific disasters, like wind storms versus ice storms versus floods versus train derailments and all that. So yeah. we're working on that. And then what we're sort of hope to do too is get. Go bring that guy back, Jeff. I think his name was, or whatever his name was, from from the state that yeah. did the um, Everbridge um, app for emergency management to get us trained on using that app again and do a more thorough training. That would be a good thing. Considering yeah, no. I know. I mean, we just haven't gotten around. Well, to I mean, it. I feel really bad about <clears throat> Nancy Kennedy, who lives on Three Mile Bridge Roads, and she doesn't have a computer and she doesn't have a cell phone. She just got a straight up landline. And she's getting calls at three o'clock in the morning yeah. about the Montpelier parking parking ban. ban. And she, the phone rings off the hook, or well, hardly so out that, of her chest. So that's something that 
you know, if she wanted me to come over to her house, I could fix that for her. You could for my oh, yeah. landline? No, you yeah, just it's on the computer. You just you just pick oh, a different oh, button. Oh, on I the didn't computer. know. I can that can help her. With yeah. That. So all you need to do is tell which hours are called quiet hours. Oh, I will. I, they did not have that option when I signed her up. Yeah. I will do that now. Thank and you. And I much. will tell you that was member when they called me. My husband was traveling from out of town. <laughs> they called me to tell me there was going to be a frost. <laughs> I'm like three o'clock in the morning. My husband's ring, traveling. Ring. I'm like. There's a frost. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's the parking bans in Montpelier that are driving me crazy. Yeah, yeah those are coming. Those are rapid coming fire here. all hours. So apparently, I also heard this, and I didn't know this. If you respond yes, you won't get the call to your house too. So if you don't respond yes, yeah, I haven't gotten any calls to my house. You I get the text, the but I don't get the call. I get the text. I get yeah. the text too. But if you hadn't maybe set it up on your home phone, do you have a home phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, that's what I heard from mm -hmm. Paul. Huh. What I know. So I have some news about uh, our town. Do you know who bought Paul Sermonara's house? No. So this is something that is, do you know, mister? You don't? Really? You're going to love this story. Oh, actually, I think I do I know. Can we adjourn the meeting? Yeah, adjourn the meeting. Okay. Is there any, Stay any other business? <laughs> no. Other thing. Okay. I'm, a, I'm adjourning the meeting at 6.03.